Hello, everybody. Let's see. How are you, Azucena? ¿Qué tal, Azucena? ¿Cómo está? No sé si se dice así, pero I am tired. Yes, you are tired. <laughs> sí, así se dice, tired. Excellent. Very good, Azucena. Good to hear you. Qué bueno que está en la clase, right? Let me see, Miguel Morales, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. You? Good. I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Let me see. Francisco Machado, how are you, Francisco? Hi, Francisco. Su audio. Veo que tiene el micrófono encendido, pero no se le escucha. Hmm. Let's check again those audios. Let's see Carla and Miriam Arevalo. How are you girls? Hello teacher. I'm tired. You're tired. You. Yes. <laughs> you too. <laughs> All right, excellent. Welcome back everybody. Let me see we have Noe Portillo. Let's see Noe. Let's see if the audio is working today. How are you? Uh, good evening, Miss. My day, uh, cansado. No sé cómo es cansado en inglés. It was tired. Tired. Okay. Tiredness. Okay, tired. Thank you. Tired es cansado, right? Si queremos decir, mi día estuvo cansado, my day was tired. Oh, exhausting. Pero exhausting, ya. Yeah. So, leave it. All right. Thank you so much. Lourdes Mendez, how are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está Lourdes? Hi. Good evening. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> too. Everybody's yeah. tired. Ya apenas es martes, ya estamos cansados. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back. It's a pleasure to have you in the class. We're going to get started in here. Okay, just let me move on a little bit, all right? So let's see, esperemos que se vayan conectando más compañeros y vamos a ir avanzando poquito a poco, right? Ahorita. Today is Tuesday, October 5th. Where are you from? Class six, okay? Este tema que ustedes ven aquí es de la section three, right? Where are you? Let's move on. Do you remember? Ustedes recuerdan que siempre vamos a tener esta sección, right? Do you remember? Let's see. Create one sentence using this. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Van a crear una oración utilizando this. Aquí tengo mi example. The, this is my cell phone, right? This is my cell phone. Okay? So there you have it. This is my cell phone. Um, ustedes van a crear uno, si es posible, open your camera y me muestran su objeto, right? If not, yo voy a comprender, pero de lo contrario, hagamos el esfuerzo por hacer la actividad así. Ok, create yours on your notebook. Van a crear su oración en su cuaderno. All right, everybody, let's see. Para los que se van incorporando en la clase, estamos en this part, in number one. Estamos creando una oración utilizando this, right? Recuerden que es para singular. Have you finished? Okay. 
All right, excellent. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? All right. Finish. Excellent. Very good, Asesena. Thank you. Welcome, Juan Cepeda. Bienvenido. Thank you. Uh, we are in number one. Ahorita estamos en la pregunta uno o en el point number one, ¿verdad? Estamos creando una oración utilizando eh, this. Que posible tengan el objeto a mano para mostrar. Right? Take your sentence on your notebook. Espera, espera. Permítanlo, jugador. El jugador dos. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get started. Mm, Jose Miguel Hernandez, please tell me your example. This is my laptop. Right. This is my laptop. Right. No nos olvidemos del verb to be. This is my laptop. Excellent. Azucena, Azucena, please. Your microphone. My example is, this is my cat. Excellent, really good. That's correct, thank you. Let me see Noe Portillo. Yo, please, que me ayuda bastante. My this much. All right. No sé si my... Sí, si usted dijo this is my mouse, it's correct. It's All right. Let me go with Francisco Machado. Let's see, Francisco. That is my house. Excellent. Very good. Let me have Carla Arevalo. This is my pencil. Right, pen. This is a pen, right? <laughs> Thank you. And Miriam Arevalo, your turn. This is my notebook. Excellent. Very good. Notebook. Excellent. Girls, let me have a. Who else am I missing? Ah, Juan Cepeda. Let's see one. This is uh, my call. All right, excellent. Really good. Your teddy bird, excellent. Let me have Miguel Morales, please. Your microphone. <laughs> no, el micrófono, Miguel. Mike. This is my cup of coffee. Excellent, bravo, very good. Coffee, we love coffee over here. <laughs> Excellent, Miguel. Let me have Lourdes Mendez. This is my marker. All right, thank you, very good. Excellent, all right, everybody. Great job doing the first one. Let's go with the second one. Create one sentence using this. All right, let's get ahead with this. This is my example. Let's me have it. These are my agendas. Um, otra vez, se me olvidó traer las dos agendas. Pero uh, let's suppose there are two, right? Supongamos que hay dos. These are my agendas, all right? So let's create yours. Van a crear su oración utilizando these. Finish, Miss. Finish. Excellent. Very good.
Let's wait for your classmates. Vamos a esperar para que sus compañeros avancen. All right, let's get started. Let's see, Francisco Machado, tell me your sentence. Uh, these are my cars. All right, excellent. You got two cars. Excellent, thank you. Let me see, Orlando Echeverria, your sentence. Your mic. Su micrófono. Me parece como que no está abierto. Su micrófono. Ok. Hoy sí, Miss. Yes, excellent. I'm sorry. Good night, everybody. Uh, this is my example. This is I. These are my jackets. All right, excellent, very good, that's correct. Jose Miguel Hernandez, before you fall asleep, antes de que se duerma, Jose, let's see. This, these are, are the pencils. Are you the pencil, for, excuse me? Are you, soy yo los pencils? Soy yo los lapiceros? Are you? No. Okay, this, these are my pencils. This, okay. Uh -huh. This my pencil. All right, excellent, really good. También okay. puedes decir, these are your pencils. Estos son tus lapiceros, right? These are your your are, are, are your pencils. Okay. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let me see, Miriam Arevalo. These are my night boys. Polish, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, nail polish. ¿Cómo? Nail polishes. Nail polish. These are my nail, nail polish. Excellent, very good. Sí, es que nail es uña y polish es esmalte de uña, right? Excellent, very good. Eh, Carla, arévalo. This is my thongs. This is or these are? These, perdón. <laughs> these are my hugs. All right, excellent, that's correct. Thank you, very good. Juan Cepeda, please. These are your cookies. Excellent, very good, thank you. Let me see Azucena. These are my cell phones. Wow, excellent, you got two. <laughs> Very good, Susana, thank you. Miguel Morales. These are my pencil. That's correct, thank you. Very good. Noé Portillo. Uh, these are my two markers. Excellent, really good to markets. Excellent. And I will have uh, Lourdes Mendes. These are my headphones. That's correct, thank you. All right, everyone, let's check this one. Muy bien, todos han realizado muy bien o excelentes a cierto punto sus sentences. Y eso es muy bueno porque quiere decir que está claro, right? The use of this and this. Ahora, vámonos un poquito. Number three, mention the prepositions of place. 
Yesterday we were watching the prepositions of place, right? Ayer estábamos viendo las preposiciones del lugar. So, vamos a ver, a cada uno de ustedes le voy a ir preguntando una o dos prepositions. Let's get started with, let's see, Ana Melara, tell me one preposition of place. Me dice una preposición de lugar. ¿Sí? ¿Ana? Eh, on. On. All right. Excellent. Thank you. José Miguel Hernández, tell me one preposition of place. ¿Me es una preposición, por favor? They stay in the front. All television. All right, excellent. In front of. Very good. That's the preposition. Orlando Echeverria. My preposition is behind. Behind. Excellent. Thank you. Romeo Anaya. Let's see, Romeo, una preposición de las que veíamos ayer. Next to. Next to. Excellent. Next. Very good, thank you. Francisco Machado, another preposition. Under. Under, that's correct. Everybody, thank you. Let's see, también dentro de las preposiciones tenemos between, pero esa no aparece en la platform, por eso no se las puse aquí. All right, let's move on. And let me see, number four, mention at least Three double H words, right? Recuerdan las double H words? Vamos a mencionar al menos tres. Let's see, Juan Cepeda, tell me three double H words. Yes, yes, no worry, no se preocupe. Why? Mm -hmm. Why are you say? Mm -hmm. All right. Why? Uh -huh. Why? ¿Cuál sería otra? Uh, solo, solo quiero la palabra con double H word. Uh, who? What? When? Okay. Where? Why? Y how? All right. Excellent, Juan. Thank you. Let's see, uh, Susana, tell me three double H words. Mm, one, who? Mm -hmm. uh, two, uh, when? Mm -hmm. Three, how? How, oh, excellent. How. Very good. Miriam Arevalo, tell me another three prepositions. Do you have three prepositions? What? When? Where? Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. No es por ti. Dígame otras tres preposiciones. Otras tres eh, double H words, perdón. Um, what? Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, who? Who? All right. That's correct. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for your participation. Recuerden que esta parte nos ayuda a recordar lo que vimos el día anterior. Double H questions with B. A ver, ayer veíamos esta eh, estructura con ustedes y as far as I remember, la trabajamos, trabajamos las questions. Let's see, Lourdes Méndez, ¿podría leerme la estructura, please? Yes. Eh... To, I'm sorry, W H mm -hmm. word plus verb to be plus the subject 
plus complement in I don't remember, please. Question wait, wait. mark. Thank you. Question okay. mark. Very good. Thanks for letting me know. Gracias por decirme. Porque así los puedo auxiliar yo, ¿verdad? Excellent. Thank you. Entonces, ayer trabajábamos con esta structure. Veíamos cuáles eran las double H words. No se olviden de qué significa cada una para que no nos confundamos. Right? Y teníamos los guiding examples. Y luego, after that, Veíamos las prepositions of place. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Right? This is just as a review. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Practice time. Ahora les toca a ustedes practicar. Instructions. Necesito que alguien lea las instrucciones. Let me see. Francisco Machado, please. Read the instructions. Instruction, work individually, create own sen sentence, o algo así. Sentence. Sentence. You sing any object that you want. Mm -hmm. You need to use preposition. Excellent, thank you. You need to use prepositions, all right? ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces, Miss? Vamos a crear una oración utilizando prepositions. Pueden escoger cualquier objeto que ustedes quieran, o inclusive si es un animal, it's okay, all right? Let's work on that one, please. Finish me, miss. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. Who else has finished? ¿Quién más ha terminado? Me, teacher. Excellent. All right. All right, let's get started. Let's see. Um, let me have Lourdes Mendez, tell me your sentence, please. Yes. The dog is on the bed. Excellent, very good, thank you. Miguel Hernandez, please tell me your sentence. The, the ball in, in front of the elevation. All right, that's correct, thank you. Let me see, uh, Susana. Uh, the mouse is under the table. All right, that's correct, thank you. En ese caso, Susana, también tiene, si es escritorio, se puede utilizar this, right? Si fuera escritorio, podemos utilizar desk, all right, under the desk. Eh, let's see, Romeo Anaya. Romeo 
Seria T-Boy is in front of sofa. All right, excellent. The boy is in front of the sofa. Okay. Excellent, thank you. Juan Cepeda. The table is found to style. Let's Escalera. see. Sí, lo estaba dicho. Style. Escalera, digo. Sí, yes. Sí, stairs. Okay, the table is front to style. Right, it's in front of the stairs. That's correct. Thank you. No nos olvidemos de in front of. Let's see. Francisco Machado. No sé si está bien, pero si no me corrige. Mm -hmm. Your brother is next to a school. Right, your brother is next to the school. ¿Así? Sí. All right, excellent. Sí, está bien. No hay ningún problema. That's okay. okay. Uh, let okay. me see. Miriam Arevalo. No hemos terminado, Miss. All right, excellent. Estoy un poco más de tiempo. Let's see, Orlando Echeverría. Okay. The school is behind of fire station. All right, that's okay. Thank you. Ana Melara. My sentence is on the table. All right, very good. Thank you. Un poquito, le falló un poquito el audio, pero no se preocupe, right? Let me see, Miguel Morales, your sentence. The laptop is on the desk. Uh -huh, the laptop is on the desk, in the desk. All right. Let's see, Miguel. ¿Está encima o adentro? Encima. All right. Entonces es on. Check this out. On the desk. On the desk. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Let me see. Hmm. Am I missing somebody else? Noé, please tell me your sentence. Okay, Miss, my, my example is uh, my shoes are under the desk. All right, my shoes are under the desk. Lo que dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. All right, excellent. Very really good. Thank you. Let's see, eh, Regina. Bienvenida. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, teacher. How are you, Regina? Very well, and you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking. I'm happy to see you. Uh, Let's see. Me too. <laughs> Let's see, Regina. Estamos practicando con el uso de las propositions of place. Mm -hmm. No sé si hizo su oración. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, okay. yes, yes. <laughs> uh, the fan is next to the bed. All right, excellent. Very good, that one. And Silvia Guadalupe. Let's see, Silvia. Sorry, acabo de entrar. All right, no se preocupe. Sí, por eso estaba chequeando, porque vi que habían algunos que habían entrado y dije yo, bueno, les voy a explicar, all right? Pero qué bueno, thank you for being in class. Let's move on, everybody. Let's see. Tenemos esta conversation, all right? It's, it's a moment to practice our speaking. Momento de practicar nuestro speaking, all right? Let's see. Lo voy a leer yo primero. Voy a leer yo primero la conversación. Ah, no, permíteme, no puedo avanzar. Ya me acordé que me faltan dos chicas. Carla y Miriam Arevalo. ¿Me dice sus oraciones, por favor? Ok. The cat, the cat is on the bed. Ajá, thank you. Y Chewis, chau. Perdón. <laughs> the choice is under the bed. All right, que, que, the, the shoes. Sí. The shoes. All right, excellent. <laughs> excellent, really good. Yeah, that's correct. Under the bed. All right, thank you. Ahora sí, ya podemos avanzar en paz. <laughs> Let's see. 
Let's move on. Tenemos Tim and Jessica. Prestemos, uh, listen. The sentence is correct. Uh, your car keys is on the purse. Yes, Orlando, it's correct, your sentence. Right? Let's move on. Entonces, listen carefully the pronunciation. Escuchen atentamente la pronunciación. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So it's your first language, Korean? Yes, it is, right? Excellent. Let's see, ahora les toca a ustedes. Respetemos los punctuation marks, right? Respetemos los signos de puntuación, como aquí tenemos una coma, and some of them we have semicolons, and in another ones we have periods, right? Entonces tenemos que respetar. Aunque nos cueste, porque estamos leyendo palabra por palabra, pero podemos hacer el énfasis en algunos de esos. Por ejemplo, well, hago la pausa. My family is in California now. Hago la pausa, right? But we're from Korea original. And that's it. Voy a tener a, Re a Regina, please. You are Jessica. And Miguel Morales, you are team. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not. Uh, sorry. No, we're not from Seoul. Uh, we're from the John, the John, the John teacher. The John, oh, the John. Ah, okay. So is your first English, Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent, very good, no mistakes. Good fluency, all right? En esta, la voy a repetir porque sí sé que cuesta, es Daijon, all right, Daijon. Okay, um, let me see, ¿qué más? No, estamos bien, we have fluency. Siempre les voy a dar los comments, los reviews, diciéndoles si estamos bien, si podemos pronunciar alguna palabra de nuevo, para ver cómo mejoramos la pronunciación. Ok, ahora voy a tener a Juan Cepeda, you are team, a Susana, you are Jessica, action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is Californian now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the young. So, is your first lang 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 language? language language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent, bravo! We're doing great. Thank you. Let's see, Asusena, repeat after me. Originally. Oh, originally. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good. Es que es diferente original. Es una cosa y originally es otra, right? Excellent, thank you. Francisco Machado, you are team. Silvia Guadalupe, you are Jessica. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California, no. But we're from Korea original. Oh. My mother is Korean. From Seoul, are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We from Dayon. So is your fine language Korean? Yes, it's, 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 it's fair. Excellent, thank you, bravo. Good intonation, good fluency. Francisco, repeat after me, first. 
First. Uh -huh. First. First. All right. Thank you, Francisco. Let me go with uh, Lourdes Mendes. You are Jessica. Jose Miguel Hernandez. You are Tim. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea, Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the John. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, bravo, good fluency. We're doing great over there. Let me see. I'm going to have Romeo Anaya, you are team, and Carla Arevalo, you are Jessica. Action. Are you from California, Jessica? Wait, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my, my mother is Korea from, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dajon. So, is your first language Korea? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Romeo and Miriam. Let's see, Romeo, repeat after me. Korea. Korea. Korean. Korean. Excellent. Korean. Sí, porque esta es la nationality. Esa es la nacionalidad, right? Korean. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's go with Orlando Echeverria. You are team. And Miriam Arevalo, you are Jessica. Action. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. But we're from Korea, originally. Oh. My mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dajon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Bravo, everybody. Good pronunciation, good Thank fluency. You. We're doing great, all right. Let me see. I'm missing Noe Portillo, you are Team Ana Melara, you are Jessica. Action. Uh, from California, Jessica. Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea yeah, originally. Okay, oh. <laughs> oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul, Jessica? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Seoul. So, is your language Korean? Yes, it is. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Excellent. Very good. Ya ven como si nos funcionó el audio. Eh. All right, all right, Gina. Thanks for letting me know. Let me see. All right, everybody, let's move on. Muy bien, hicieron excelente la conversation. Very good, I'm impressed. Tienen alguna duda en algún vocabulary word? La pronunciación de algún vocabulario de aquí, ¿tienen alguna duda?
Yes, Miss. Uh -huh. En el caso de, digamos, el, el nombre del país, Corea, y la nacionalidad, ¿verdad? Eh, Corea. Corea. ¿Por qué? Ajá, Corea is the country. Ajá, Korean okay. is nationality. Korean es el gentilicio. Uh -huh. La nacionalidad. Okay. La nacionalidad. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Excellent. Very good. All right. I think we have no more questions, right? We're doing great. Let's move on. Tenemos este otro tópico. Negative statements and yes, no questions with me. Let's see. Primero escuchen atentamente y con cuidado lo que yo voy a pronunciar ahorita para que después a ustedes cuando les toquen no tengan ningún mistake, no tengan ningún problema. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. You're not late. You're not late. She's not from Russia. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. He's not from Italy. It's not English. It's not English. We're not from Japan. We're not from Japan. You're not early. You're not early. You're not in Mexico. You're not in Mexico. All right? So let's practice with this pronunciation. Voy a pedir a algunos de ustedes que practiquen la pronunciation con estas sentences. All right? Son basic sentences. Voy a tener a Miguel Morales, please, number one and number two. I'm not from New York. You're not playing. Excellent, thank you. Regina, three and four. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. Excellent. Lourdes Mendez, five and six. It's not English. We're not from Japan. Thank you. And Jose Miguel Hernandez, the last two that we have, seven and eight. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. That's correct. Everybody, thank you. All right, let's move on to the next one. Ahora vamos con las questions. All right, let's pay attention to the pronunciation. Are you from California? Are you from California? Am I early? Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are you from China? Are we late? Are we late? Are they in Canada? Are they in Canada? Okay, now it's your turn. All right, to know this. Let's see, Juan Cepeda, number one and two, please. Are you from California? I am early. Am I? I'm, am I mm -hmm. early? Excellent, thank you. Si ustedes lo dicen despacito, pueden decir, am I early? Pero usualmente en todos los natives, todos los nativos del idioma van a escuchar el am I, right? Am I early? Un poquito más, un poquito más corrido. Eh, Azucena, two and three, please. Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Excellent, thank you. Eh, Miriam Arevalo, five and six. Is it Korean? Are you from China? Thank you. Orlando Echeverria, seven and eight. Are we late? Are they in Canada? That's correct, thank you, all right? Luego tenemos las answers, las respuestas a estas preguntas, all right? 
tenemos la siguiente. Escuchen la pronunciación. Después les voy a pedir su colaboración o su participación en esta parte. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Cuidadosa atención en esto. No, I'm not. Right? Yo no puedo decir no, I'm no. No, no, I'm not. Esa T tiene que sonar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you are not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you are not. Yes, they are. No, they are not. Okay. Ahora, Carla, usted va a leer las primeras eh, tres, tanto positivo como negativo, por favor. All right. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, she is. No, I am not. No, you are not. No, she's not. Excellent, thank you. Let's move on to somebody else. Uh, Silvia Guadalupe. The next three, please. Desde la cuatro hasta la seis, por favor, tanto positivo como negativo. Silvia Guadalupe, ¿ahorita? Voy, voy, se me trabó el mouse. All right, don't worry, no se preocupe. Desde la cuatro, ¿verdad? Hasta las seis, yes. Yes. He is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, he's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. All right. Yes, you. you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. All right. Thank you. You finished. Excellent. All right, everyone. Aquí tenemos esto, ¿verdad? Statements, negative statements, and yes, no questions. Tenemos tanto oraciones en negativo. Tenemos preguntas que no se pueden hacer en negativo, pero sí podemos brindar una respuesta negativa, right? Recuerden, se les llama yes, no questions with be, porque comienza, número uno, comienza con el verb to be. Número dos, las respuestas solo pueden ser yes o no. All right? Y su subject, of course, ¿verdad? Let's move on. Formula or structure. Permítanme. Let's see, Juan Cepeda, can you read the structure? ¿Puede leer la estructura, por favor? Sentence. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. That's correct. Thank you. All right. Copy en esta estructura, por favor, on your notebooks. All right, let's move on. We have guiding examples, all right? Let's pay attention to this one. Los voy a leer yo primero y después les va a tocar a ustedes. Number one, Marilyn is not from El Salvador. Two, I'm not a good student. Three, you're not part of my family. Four, Casey is not my brother. Five, it's not cloudy today. All right. Now it's your turn. Azucena, please. Number one and two. 
Number one, Marilyn is not from El Salvador. Number two, I'm not a good student. Thank you. Uh, Carla Arevalo, please, three and four. You're not part of my family. Casey is not my brother. Excellent, thank you. And Orlando Echeverria, number five. It's not, it's not cloudy today. That's correct. Thank you, sir. All right, everyone, there you have it. Those are the sentences as a guiding examples. Let me move on. If you won't take any notes, I will move on. Practice time. Instructions. Jose Miguel, can you please read the instructions? Me lee las instrucciones, por favor. Number one, work in Dibeli. Number two, create own sentences using verb to be in negative. Number three, share your sentences with the class. Thank you so much, Mr. Hernandez. All right, everyone. Eh, let's see, esta palabra es one, se refiere a una. Ya voy escuchando a tres personas que me van diciendo on y es one, all right? On es una preposition of place y one es un número, one. All right? So let's create on your notebooks. Creemos un, creamos, o vamos a crear un ejemplo utilizando negative, all right? Finish, Miss. Excellent, very good. All right, somebody else has finished. Finish, Miss. Excellent. Very good. Finish, Miss. Yay, excellent, everybody. Let's go with Regina. Tell me your sentence. Okay, I am not from Mexico. That's correct. Thank you. <laughs> You're Salvadorian. Thank you. Let's see, uh, Noe. Uh, my example is, my mother is not from Spain. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. Orlando Echeverria. Okay. My example, I'm not working right now. That's correct. Thank you. Right? Ya se fue el progresivo, Orlando. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. me. Don't worry, let's go with Juan Cepeda. Let's see, Juan. Is not Maria from Mexico? Okay. Maria is not from Seoul. Así tendría que ser. Porque no podemos preguntar en negativo. All right. Excellent, thank you. Porque si nosotros preguntamos en negativo, let's see, voy a decir eso. Es como cuando ustedes le ofrecen café a alguien y le dicen de un solo. ¿No vas a querer café? ¿Verdad? ¿Si hacemos eso? That's not. Exactly. So that's why we can ask in the only way, affirmative. Now let's see. Uh, Lourdes Méndez, please tell me your sentence. You are not my sister. Excellent. Thank you. Romeo Anaya, let's see your sentence. Okay. He is not sleeping. 
Alright, he's not sleeping. That's correct. También se me fue por progressive, progressive. progressive. Ajá, uh -huh, that's progressive. But it's okay, no se preocupe. Uh, as long as we know how to use it in present, mientras sí. sepamos cómo utilizarlo en present, estamos bien, All right? Don't worry. Let's Thank see, you. Jose Miguel Hernández, your turn. He is not from China. All right, very good. Miriam Arevalo. Okay. Carlos is not from China. All right, very good. Uh, Carla? My boss is not from Korea. All right, he's not from Korea. Francisco okay. Machado? My father is not from Canada. All right, excellent. Sadly, right? Tristemente, we are Salvadorians. <laughs> Let's see, Azucena. I'm not a good dancer. All right, very good. Thank you. Miguel Morales, first sentence. I'm not a doctor. doctor. All right, I'm not a doctor. Ana Melara, your sentence. Um, I'm not good to the park. All right. Te escucho un poquito de interferencia. Um, I'm not good to the park. No estoy segura si eso también es como un negativo. Ah, let's see. No voy al parque. No voy al parque. Ajá. Vaya, miren, aquí hay en el, pre, en el simple present tenemos un... Sí. Ajá. O se utiliza el, el do. Ajá, exacto. De eso iba a decirles, el auxiliar. Muy bien, Ana. Pero como ahorita estamos utilizando, no estamos utilizando auxiliares, ¿verdad? Ajá. Por eso, right? No. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm not secretary. I'm not a secretary. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Sí, okay. es que para hacerla en simple present o necesitamos el auxiliary o si no lo cambiamos de término o de structure y lo pasamos a progressive. ¿Verdad? Excellent. Thank you, Ana. That was correct. Silvia Guadalupe, please. Yeah. Samira is not a university student. All right, that's correct, thank you. Am I missing someone? Me hace falta alguien de practicar, de decirme su sentence? No, everybody. All right, everyone, that was pretty much it for today's class. Thank you so much for being on time and for being present in the class. Muchas gracias por estar en la clase. Nos vemos el día de mañana, right? Espero que tenga una buena noche. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Good night, Bye. guys. Thank Bye. you, Mitch. Thank you. Good night. Bless you. Thank you. Tomorrow.